on Friday the 13th, July 2008, there was a bartender who was the only one left in this bar. He was cleaning up the tables after the bar closed and then he heard a glass slam. He looked around to see who was there, but there was no one. But but no one was there, so he continued cleaning the tables. He then heard another glass fall off the table, this one a table closer than the one before. He turned around again and no one was there. Then when he went back to clean the table a third time, he heard all the plates and glasses and cups rise up from the tables, shatter in the air and fall to the floor. He then heard a sadistic ghost laughing. He ran to the doors and said, let me out, let me out, but they were locked. He tried the windows, but they were locked as well. He was left in there all night with the ghost laughing at him. In the morning, when the bar manager opened up the door, he just saw the bartender lying on the floor in front of the door, tears staining his face. He asked, what are you doing down there? He said, but the bartender said, the ghost was tormenting me, crashing the cups all night. It made me insane. Then. The bar owner said, what ghost? He said, the one that destroyed the cups. There are no cups on the floor. <laughs> I'm here today to tell the story of Lucinda Sloy, the last woman to be hanged in Carlow, alongside her lover, John Dempsey. She, uh, Lucinda Sloy, uh, when she was a young girl, she married a, a farmer called Walter Sloy. He was a, a brute and an alcoholic. He, he was very abusive and better up all the time. She, um, she then fell in love with a farmhand, John Dempsey, and together they conspired to murder Walter Sly, her husband. They were caught and sentenced to death. They were the last people to be hanged in the Carlow Jail on the 30th of March, 1835. So it was Halloween night. 2001 I, and a group of friends they were staying in their friends and the window was wide open they kept on hearing strange noises so they looked at, out every time they heard a loud bang so they looked out the window and seen a clown so they closed the window and hit the friend's head by mistake They're, they hear three knocks at the door and they opened it. It was an older man. So they let him in and he says, here's a hand and you have five fishes, so be wise with them. Poppy Graves was the resting place for more than 600 United Irishmen who died in action on the 25th of May, 1798. They were betrayed by one of their leaders and fell into a well-planned ambush. The rebels were slaughtered and houses they ran to for safety were burned down, killing women and children too. They were buried in a large sand pit in Poppy Graves. Father Murphy was a Catholic priest and was the leader of the rebellion in 1798 in Wexford. When the forces were betrayed and ambushed, himself and his bodyguard James Gallagher got separated from his surviving group. They went to a friend's house in Tullow. Days later they were captured and were charged with treason against the British Crown. Both men were tortured for information but resisted. Father Murphy was stripped, flogged, hanged, decapitated and his co corpse was burnt in a barrel of tar and his head was impaled on a spike. There was a rumour going around that his ghost has been seen in the village several times since the battle. In 1920 a man was walking his dog in a field beside a graveyard. His dog started bar barking and looking at the graveyard. Suddenly the dog got off the leash and ran towards the graveyard. The, five minutes later, the man walking his dog only realized that he, that he was missing. <coughs> he went to search for his dog, but an hour later he gave up. Suddenly, a dark shadow appeared from behind him in the trees. He turned around and saw, and saw the dark figure standing there. Suddenly, the dark figure started running towards him. Then the man started running towards his home, so, but he didn't get there in time. He tripped over a rock and hit his head off the wall. He's, he, he suffered a minor concussion, later went into cardiac arrest. The dark shadow turned out just to be a regular farmer, trying to chase him off his field. But he didn't know if he was alive or not, so the farmer started to panic, and then, and then stuffed him into a bin and put him in the Barrow River. 
The Bar River flowed along, along down the Carlow Town Hall and then got stuck. Now a cinema is built over the bin, especially a screen three. Some people can hear and see doors slamming, chairs swinging, people getting touched and felt chills down their spine. In screen three, 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 in screen three.